Hello everyone, and today I want to make a quick explanation for why uh, this set of repeaters is going to have a higher top priority than this set of repeaters. Because you can see these set of repeaters have, like, they're pointing into each other uh, directly, whereas this one uh, has a redstone dust. Doesn't matter if it's a dust, it could be a block. Um, the important thing is that it's not connecting directly to the repeater, versus here it is, and in the code I'm going to explain how that works. But first I want to make a quick demonstration of, like, uh, what, what do I mean by all this? So, like, um, these two pistons, technically, like, if you're, like, from Bedrock or something, you might think it would be random, but in Java, it's always going to be the same, it's just, if you have the same setup, uh, like, for repeaters, then it's going to be based on a hash map, um, but, but you can actually manipulate the Taltic priorities to make, like, for example, this piston extend first, like, to make it extend before this other one, uh, which basically means, like, it, well, you'll see what it means. So you can see this piston is always going to be the one extending first, because, even though these two have the same delay, you can see these are all one tick repeaters. Uh, this set of one tick repeaters, the repeaters are facing directly into each other, versus these have a redstone dust in between. So yeah, let me show you in the code uh, what happens to make that true. Alright, so here we're in the code. Um, I'm using yarn mappings. Uh, pretty much as always, I'm going to be using yarn mappings. So we're in the abstract redstone gate block uh, dot class. So yeah, this is basically like comparators and repeaters are going to be extending this class. So you can see repeater, uh, repeater block extends abstract redstone gate block. Comparator block extends abstract redstone gate block. So yeah, and there's this method here called update powered. So yeah, basically whenever it's going to be turning on or off, this is uh, this is the method that's going to be run. And at the end of this method, you'll see that it's going to schedule a tile tick. Uh, we call them tile ticks, um, or block ticks, whatever they're called. But yeah, um, this is the thing, but the tick priority is kind of the important part. And if I like click on it, then you'll see where else in the code is going to show up. So here we have tick priority. Uh, where we define it. So first it's going to be defaulted to high. And tick priority, by the way, if you're not aware, it's just an enumeration here with um, some different priorities. So yeah, by default it's going to be high. Then is target not aligned? And yeah, it basically says, so if it's not aligned, then it's going to return true. So yeah, uh, you can see it's getting the direction, then it's going to get the block state of um, the position there. And if if it's a redstone gate, so like a repeater or a comparator, and if it's not facing in the direction, so like uh, facing in the direction meaning like, so it's facing south right now, and this direction is north. So yeah, uh, if you can see in mini HUD it says facing south, and I'm looking in the north direction. So basically, if it's not looking north, so north, uh, the looking repeater would be looking like this. So basically if it's looking like this, like this, or like this, then it's going to set a higher tile tick priority. I think it's going to be extremely high. So yeah, we go up here. If it's not aligned, uh, then extremely high. So I think the reason for that is, for example, if we have a repeater facing into another repeater like this, then it's going to be locking that repeater. Uh, same thing if it's in this direction, then it's going to be locking that. And if they're both facing in the same direction like this, then it's going to be powering it. So basically, if it's going to be doing something to this repeater uh, directly in front of it, or a comparator, it doesn't matter, then it's going to set an extremely high taltic priority. But if it's facing in this direction, it's not going to do anything to that repeater. So yeah, that's why it ignores that case. But for every other case, it's actually going to do something to the repeater. And for the comparator as well, because obviously the comparator it has the side outputs or side inputs, I mean, so yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it actually, because BL uh, is just if it's powered, um, but it only checks that if it's not, if it doesn't do this, then it's going to do this. So that doesn't really matter. We're not exactly like caring about that. So this is the bit of code that matters that, so basically if it's, if it's going to do something to repeater or comparator in front of it, then it's going to set the priority to extremely high. And then it's going to schedule a tile tick with that priority, whatever it is, high or extremely high. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Um, obviously later when the tile ticks get processed, uh, the extremely high ones are going to get processed first, then the very high, then the high, then then I think there's uh, normal, then low, the very low, extremely low. So yeah, just to recap in case you didn't want to watch the code bit, um, basically if there's a repeater or a comparator directly in front of it, and if it's going to do something to it, so either power it or lock it, then it's going to set an extremely high taltic priority. But if it's not going to do anything like this, so like this repeater completely remained unchanged, and then it's going to just set a high taltic priority instead of extremely high for these three cases. So that pretty much explains why this repeater setup has a higher taltic priority than this repeater setup, and why that piston on the, on the right will always be extending.
So I believe actually comparator block uh, overrides that method. So yeah, update powered, it overrides that, as you can see here in my IntelliJ uh, thing. There's like this thing on the left that basically says that it's going to override the method uh, from its superclass. Um, but that's basically because the comparator has a lower Taltic priority than your average repeater. I don't know why I said average there. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can see like pretty much it's the same stuff. It's just here it's high and normal versus here it was high or it was extremely high and high. So yeah, basically the comparator just has a lower Taltic priority than uh, your repeater is going to have. But anyway, I guess that's going to do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.